Zia or Zia says, can I do tawaf for other people as many times as I want after completing my Umrah? The essence of our religion is based on following. What do we mean by that? We cannot innovate. We cannot invent things. We have to follow and comply to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So, when the Prophet says والسلام, the prayer of a man in congregation is 27 times better than his prayer alone. What do we understand? We understand that prayer in congregation is far more rewardable. Okay, this is hadith. We put it a little bit on the side. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that if you maintain praying 12 rak'ahs per day and night, other than the faridah, then Allah will build you a mansion in Jannah. And Abdullah ibn Umar and Um Habiba and, and Um Salama and Aisha and all the mothers of the believers told us that the Prophet used to pray four rak'ahs before Dhuhr or two rak'ahs before Dhuhr in the hadith of Ibn Umar and four rak'ahs in the hadith of the mothers of the believers and two rak'ahs after. Okay? I said, okay. I, I, I could not agree more. Okay, what happens if I come in the masjid, I lead the congregation in four rak'ah of dhuhr. And after I finish the fard, offer salam, and they offer the salam, I say to them, brothers, let us now pray the sunnah, two rak'ahs after dhuhr, in congregation. What is this? Hey, Sheikh, ta'al, come. What are you doing? So I say, what do you think I'm doing? I'm praying congregation. I'm leading them in sunnah prayer. I say, yeah, but this is not permissible. So why? The Prophet said that the prayer in congregation is 25 to 27 times more rewarding than praying alone. So I'm praying the sunnah, which your prophet always did in congregation. What's wrong in that? I said, Sheikh, what's wrong is that the prophet had never done it before. So you're mixing oranges with apples. Yes, congregational prayer is recommended for fard. This is what the prophet used to pray, and for taraweeh. This is what the prophet used to pray in congregation. But he never had prayed the voluntary sunnah, emphatic sunnah of the prayers in congregation. So what you're doing is an innovation. So now coming back to your question, what's the ruling on going, doing tawaf for others? Was it ever recommended or done by the Prophet ﷺ? Nope. Companions? Nope. Tabi'een? Nope. Tabi'at tabi'een? Nope. Then what was? We know that from authentic hadiths that you can perform hajj badal. You can perform hajj on behalf of others, deceased or living, providing that they are chronically ill and they're unable to perform their fard hajj. This is permissible. We know that you can perform umrah for the deceased without any problem as long as you have performed your own umrah before. But to do tawaf, we refrain. You can do tawaf for yourself as many as you wish, but you cannot do it on behalf of the deceased or the living for any reason, none whatsoever. And Allah Azza wa knows best.